Welcome to the OPC UA Compliance Test Tool General Overview. This is the first video in a series of videos that explicitly describe how to use the UACTT to test your OPC UA products. In this video, we're going to take a look at basic quality requirements and what's involved in quality testing, the benefits of ensuring quality in your products. We'll introduce the CTT, the user interface, and how to obtain CTT help. And then we'll wrap up by looking at other videos in this series. What does it mean to have product quality? What are the requirements? Well, we need to assure that products comply with the OPC UA specifications. We need to assure that products are interoperable so that different vendors' products can work with other vendors' products. We also need to make sure that any product will behave consistently, robustly, and reliably over a long term, and it needs to be fit for production use. All products need to at least meet or preferably exceed the guidelines set forth by the OPC Foundation compliance working group and we want to do all of the above in the most efficient manner possible most cost effective way and it needs to be consistent with each and every release or build of your applications what does it mean to do quality testing well we need to assure that the correct behavior of a product is achieved by doing tests to pass this means that we understand how products should behave, so we can send instructions to those products and observe the behavior and measure the behavior to ensure they behave as expected. Tests to fail are also similar in the fact that we know the behavior of a product and we can send very specific requests, invalid or incorrect, and measure the response of a product to make sure that it does not crash and that it responds with the correct error codes as defined in the specifications. The foundation provides extensive testing documentation, the test cases that the actual certification test labs use, and the test tools, which also are used in the certification test labs. When you combine the test case documentation with the test tools, you can accomplish a myriad of black box and white box testing. The CTT is a single tool that can test both UA servers and clients. There's thousands of tests that already exist in the product and more are being added all of the time. The CTT can be launched from a command line, which means you can integrate the CTT into your continuous integration system or your overnight build system. The CTT is available to corporate members of the OPC Foundation and is maintained by the Compliance Working Group. The tool itself is extensible and is based on a JavaScript engine. So all of the test scripts you can see, you can modify, and you can add your own. And the environment itself contains a very powerful debugger, which can be used for some advanced debugging, which we will cover in another video. The benefits of using the CTT are immense. There are significant cost savings that you can realize immediately from an engineering standpoint. The improved quality, quality of your product will also lead to increased customer satisfaction. We're assuring that products are compliant and interoperable. And ultimately, if you can pass all of the tests in the CTT, then you are ready for actual certification testing in an OPC Foundation test lab. The user interface of the CTT is quite powerful. So at the bottom, we had the script output window. Now we have this ability to view actual messages coming from scripts. This is very verbose and is more intended for a developer. 
The results log at the bottom of the screen is for server testing. And as you accomplish a large array of testing, this log will show you the tests that have been completed and the status if they passed, failed, or if they passed with warnings. The client trace is for when you do client testing. And this is when you use the OPC UACTT like the old OPC analyzer for injection testing. And here you can see messages going between the client and the server, and you can also inject messages, in which case you will see different colors in the log. And this will be shown in a different video. At the top left, we have the script library, which contains scripts that are used in our test scripts. These are, are the reusable code functions. The conformance units contains a list of the conformance units and within each there are a list of test scripts. And the profiles widget shows the UA profiles and as you expand those you will see the nested facets and profiles beneath them. And a demonstration of the relationship between these tabs will be shown shortly. On the right hand side we have the object properties and the objects widgets which are really for script developers to use. And most importantly is the help widget. Each of those hyperlinks will open the extensive CTT help documentation that provides all of the information you could possibly need. And in the very middle of the tool are where the test scripts can be opened, executed, created, modified, etc. We have many videos that will show you how to use the CTT. We encourage you to take a look at those that apply to the type of testing that you want to accomplish. There's videos for server testing, client testing, developing your own test scripts, using the CTT as an advanced debugger between a client and a server, and for automating compliance testing in your CI system. If you need help, then definitely open the help documentation from the CTT. Just open the help menu, click contents, and the web browser will show the documentation for the CTT itself. If you need more information about a specific test, then you can launch the test case documentation from the CTT or from the CTT documentation. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and we encourage you to take a look at the other videos available that will help you to maximize your use of the CTT and the immense benefits that it will definitely bring to your product.